Hi friends and welcome to New Light. I started the second layer. In the second layer I use colors. Mainly ultramarine blue, crimson red, raw umber and a little bit of steel de grain. I of course make a, always quite dark paintings but this one will be extra dark. And it's the biggest challenge to, even though it's very dark, still be able to show the contrast that's needed. My strategy in this painting is to try to use a lot of very thin layers on top of each other. All of these transparent colors. And in every new layer I use a very little bit of titanium white to make the transitions and to show the parts that are slightly lighter. I suddenly realized that the light from her phone that shines on her almost looks like the moon. Then I decided to change the size of the moon and make it into the golden ratio in comparison to the light that shines upon her from the phone. I've been doubting for a long time what I wanted to do on the table. I wanted to do something with tulips, that's for sure. But first I thought I'd do the tulips right here. Then I thought maybe it's not nice for the composition, I do it right here. Then it still didn't feel very good, so I thought maybe I can have like some tulips laying on the table, paint them the way that you just buy them from the shop. But they're constantly cut off tulips. Flowers that are cut off will die. So what I might do instead and what will also be beneficial for the composition is this. Tulip bulbs that are sprouting in the soil in a copper pot. And the beautiful thing about flowers or tulips this way is that they're alive and they will keep being alive and they will remain alive for as long as you grow them this way because I want this painting to be a blessing I might do it this way so yeah I really decided to paint this pot of tulip bulbs this way and I wanted to paint it while it was getting darker so you could see really like the, 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 the light from outside while it was uh, night. And what you see in this kind of light is mainly different shades of grey bluish which is very interesting, very hard too, but if you get these colours well you will see that the light from the phone in this case will appear as if it's warmer so you really have to work on this kind of contrast if you want to paint the light Making uh, the, this parody on this painting of Vermeer gave me so much appreciation for the painting. It's, um, it's inspired by this painting, The Letter, where a woman reads a letter made by Vermeer. And uh, as you saw in the first video, I, I copied the golden ratio that was on this painting of a mirror and then I, I started with this golden ratio on my own panel and, and I, I realized how accurate 
he used the golden ratio in this painting and how much in the composition is actually crossing the lines of the golden ratio but also um, I, I started realizing more how he used his layers in a similar way to how, uh, how I started to do it this time what I think is is he also worked in many different layers in most of his paintings and constantly changing details in, in every new layer so you can constantly move details around and make it more perfect I already knew that Vermeer was adding a lot of attention to uh, the vanishing point for instance and, and the composition in, in, in the story he wants to tell in his paintings but now I, I started realizing that that, uh, that he probably also put a lot of attention to the whole composition in, in terms of the golden ratio that inspired him to uh, choose his composition as well specifically Vermeer other painters were uh, were really into uh, using other kind of things to uh, to draw the attention of the viewer but Vermeer really used composition and vanishing points and well for my new realization also the golden ratio to track attention So what works very well in a painting like this is to glaze, glaze with colors without white in it, so glaze with transparent colors. The nice thing is that you can constantly add another glazed layer over it and then while it's still wet you can add a little little bit of white in it. So you can constantly with every layer Make it, making, make, it, make it a little darker and adjust some details and adjust some transitions every time. This way it gets more and more smooth and better and better detailed with every layer. I think that the painters that m used most layers and uh, were using this technique until the fullest were the late Renaissance painters, the Flemish primitives. An example of, of these uh, painters is uh, Jan van Eyck and uh, they, they discovered oil paint for the first time, for them it was new, so they really want to, uh, to try this out this 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 way of layering paintings and you can you can specifically see in their paintings how they changed the painting made it more smoother made better transitions and more details with every new layer they added in specifically the colors from these paintings are very very intense I decided to make the background slightly lighter but also take out the plate where the pot is on. I thought it was too confusing to have this extra plate. It would be nicer and more simple to have just the pot. And every time when you make a change like this, every time when I make a change like this, I just do it in a glazed layer. So you add a very transparent layer of a certain color over it, one that fits on the, this particular part on this moment and then you can add in mostly just only white and sometimes a little bit of color to uh, adjust again and refine it. This pot is copper so uh, 
I needed to use the right greenish bluish colors to give it the expression of it being copper And the painting is done, so uh, I'm, I'm totally pleased with it now. And I didn't film the last part of it, but uh, sometimes it feels better to have some privacy in the last details that I add to it. Now I'm finally entirely pleased with it.